registered nurse here at Revol Facial Aesthetics. Today we're going to be talking about some questions that you have had regarding fillers and what you can expect. We understand how you feel. Many people come in and that's a common concern. Um, just so you know, we do customize every consultation just for you. Everyone's volume loss is different. Um, we tend to start out conservatively. Um, the beauty of fillers is we can always add as we move along to get the correction that you're looking for. Chances of looking overfilled with one syringe um, is minimal. Just so that you understand, one syringe equals one-fifth of a teaspoon. It would take five syringes to equal one teaspoon. So it is a small amount. Some areas um, we have to watch how much we put in because we don't want the overfilled look. Um, it's not uncommon to sometimes use half a syringe um, in the lip area. It just kind of depends and everyone is different. It typically depends on which product we'll be using. Restylane, Juvederm, Volbella. Um, typically have a six to nine month life. Um, Volure up to 12 months and Voluma is 18 months to two years. Please keep in mind that everyone is different. Everyone metabolizes products differently. Some can get a longer life, some a shorter life. It really just depends on you, the person. That really depends on what your goals are with fillers. Uh, the thing about fillers is we can always add where volume has been lost. However, we still age, unfortunately. So as we go through the aging process, we encourage typical touch-ups throughout the years if that's your goal. Costs can range anywhere from $275 to $850 per syringe. Um, the lesser amount is usually a half a syringe, which is always a possibility we may end up using. It really depends on you individually. Everyone is different. There's no cookie cutter um, treatment here. We do a customized consultation just for you. Um, skin thickness or thinness makes a difference. How much volume has been lost the time you come in if it's later in life sometimes there's a little more volume loss so we might have to use a little more um, again keep in mind we continually age um, so if you're wanting to just age a little bit gracefully we would have to continue to do little touch-ups throughout the years keep in mind the face is very vascular um, so, bruising is one of the most common side effects of getting injections, um, however, we do encourage doing some things beforehand to kind of minimize those chances. Um, we recommend using, not using NSAIDs, no ibuprofen, Aleve, um, aspirin, no blood thinners, fish oils, anything that's more um, designed to thin the blood out, that would increase your chances of bruising. Um, for any pain or discomfort, we encourage using Tylenol. Again, Tylenol minimizes that risk um, versus the others. Um, we also encourage using ice. Some people prefer to use Arnica before treatments. Um, if you have little tablets to take beforehand, great. Um, if not, don't worry about it. Um, we also have ice here at the office to help constrict those blood vessels, again, to minimize those risks. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. We're always here to answer any questions that you may have in case I missed one.